With its What If series, Disney recently embarked on an interesting journey in its series scene. The concept is quite simple, but all the more fascinating as a result, the Marvel Universe is approached from completely new perspectives over the course of the series and the MCU is virtually recreated from scratch. In concrete terms, this means that various key scenes from the MCU, which are familiar from movies and comics, are given alternative scenarios. Everything is based on the comic book series of the same name. At the end of the series season 1, there was a battle of various superheroes from the craziest parallel universe against an overpowered and old familiar MCU villain. A truly exciting series finale, the outcome of which we do not want to reveal here, of course. Either way, there's plenty of potential for a second season. The only question is whether those responsible see it the same way. In fact, director Brian Andrews and screenwriter AC Bradley recently confirmed to Entertainment Weekly that the script for season 2 is already in the works. They want to stay true to the anthology format and incorporate new heroes, especially those from Phase 4 of the MCU. Temporarily, there was some talk that the events from What If might also be relevant for the upcoming films of the MCU, which author Bradley more or less denied. Nevertheless, some fans speculate that some characters from the series will appear in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, others are sure that we will already meet familiar what-if characters in the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home. Whether the rumors are true is something we cannot find out until the release of the two movies at the earliest. Currently, it is unclear when the second season of What If will be released, but late 2022 seems quite viable. The upcoming Star Wars series of The Book of Boba Fett was announced this past week. The accompanying poster, which was published on the Star Wars social media channels, is already depicting the infamous bounty hunter in full costume, along with the release date of December 29th, 2021. Tim Wera Morrison will be seen in the eponymous role, while Ming Na Wen will take on the role of the elite mercenary Fennec Shand. The storyline picks up right where the second season of the main series The Mandalorian left off and will presumably start with Boba Fett and Fennec Shand returning to Tatooine. The team working behind the camera is also well staffed, as Disney is relying on familiar crew members from The Mandalorian, including producers Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau, for example. The two of them are also said to have directed individual episodes themselves, as did director Robert Rodriguez. We are eager to see the outcome of The Book of Boba Fett and look forward to the premiere set for December 29th, 2021. Hardly any other series is currently influencing pop culture as much as Squid Game, be it via memes, tweets, or unintentional spoilers. At first glance, the series' plot is quite straightforward. 456 in-depth people fight for a gigantic prize money in a total of six children's games. The downside is that despite of their colorful design, the games are not children-friendly at all and the slightest of mistakes can cost them their lives, a risk that many are willing to take. The success story comes from South Korean director and screenwriter Ron Wang Dong Hyuk, who spent almost 10 years working on the realization of his project only to keep facing rejections. Now, the finished result surprised millions of fans around the globe. Logically, the question now arises whether and when there will be a second season. Creator Huang cannot imagine a production process similar to that of the first season, as he was physically and mentally at his breaking point while working on Squid Game, which is why he doesn't even want to think about new episodes right now. Netflix, on the other hand, has naturally profited from the surprise hit and appears to want to continue its contender for the most successful Netflix series of all time. Without the series creator, that would hardly be possible. However, he doesn't want to have anything further to do with the series for the time being and would rather devote himself to other projects. In an interview with Vulture, Netflix global head of TV, Bella Bayaria, talks about finding the right structure for Wang in addition to his other projects. Thus, Netflix is going to attempt everything to produce a second season as quickly as possible with Wang's participation, especially given the very very short-lived duration of hypes, this might possibly be a good idea. But first, Wang would need to get other experienced writers and directors aboard. In fact, that's his main requirement for continuing to work on Squid Game. With that said, we are sure that Netflix CEO Ted Serenus is already personally on his way to find highly qualified staff for the new season. As soon as there's more news about Squid Game Season 2, we will of course let you know. In 2012, Sony's animated film Hotel Transylvania was a huge success. The story of Count Dracula, Yeti, Frankenstein, Quasimodo, Jonathan, and the like not only enchanted children around the world, but also made the franchise immensely popular. 
Fans are all the more eager to see the fourth and final part, which is supposed to be the culmination of the series. Johnny courts the acceptance of his father-in-law Vlad and transforms himself into a monster without further ado. The transformation of Johnny has worked, but he has also turned his monster friends into ordinary people at the same time, causing a lot of commotion in Hotel Transylvania. Besides, the clock is ticking since the protagonists have to quickly make sure that they return to their original form, otherwise they might have to remain in their new bodies forever. The release of Hotel Transylvania Transformania is now actually within reach, because as Deadline reports, Amazon has purchased the animated spectacle. Hence, it will be available on Amazon Prime Video starting on January 14, 2022. A theatrical release had eventually been ruled out by Sony Pictures following multiple postponements. Transformers Rise of the Beasts is one of the most anticipated action hits of the coming year. After the spin-off Bumblebee from 2018, it is now time for a new film in the main series. The new director, Stephen Keppel Jr., should breathe new life into this somewhat rusty franchise. A first preview is available on the Instagram channel of the 33-year-old where two pictures have been posted. One of them shows the director himself surrounded by some well-known Transformers. You can see the world-famous Optimus Prime truck, the black and yellow Camaro from Bumblebee, the iconic Porsche 911, as well as the VW bus and a motorcycle. The second image, on the other hand, features three Decepticons who are no doubt warming up in preparation for a combat with the Autobots. The story takes place in 1994 and thus a few years after the events of Bumblebee. At the center is the ever-popular Optimus Prime, who together with his Autobots must defend humanity against all sorts of enemies. In addition to the Decepticons, the factions of the Praticons, Terracons and Maximals known from Beast Wars make their appearance. We are definitely looking forward to Transformers Rise of the Beasts with a theatrical release date of June 24, 2022. The last Scream movie was released almost 10 years ago. After creator and director Wes Craven passed away in 2015, it didn't seem like there would be any new content for the franchise. However, a fifth part was only a matter of time in the end, and so the filming of Scream 5 took place at the end of last year. An insider now seems to have new information about the horror slasher. The Twitter user Viewer Anon, who has already established a reputation for accurate leaks in the past, published some plot details. However, he did keep them spoiler-free. Thus, Dewey and Gale are said to have divorced in the meantime, partly because they disagreed about life in the big city. Meanwhile, Gale has got her own TV show, while Dewey has returned to Woodsboro, though is no longer a sheriff. Sydney is a proud mother and is reportedly married to a very special person whose name will no doubt sound familiar to Scream fans and cause a lot of discussion. Is this a hint at an appearance of Patrick Dempsey as Mark and Kate? We'll see. There is also news about the first trailer, which is supposed to be shown in theaters on October 10th and will have a length of 2 minutes and 21 seconds. To top it off, we now know that the fifth film won't be called Scream 5, but will simply be titled Scream, which, according to the insider, is a dig at other horror movie remakes that use the exact same name as the original. Scream is set to hit theaters on January 14th, 2022. The Expendables franchise is synonymous with big action and even bigger names, although it often lacks a deep storyline. Nevertheless, there are many fans who are looking forward to the recently confirmed fourth part of the series. Filming is said to have begun on September 29th in London, as Green Daily reported. Returning to the big screen are Sylvester Stallone as Barney Ross, Jason Statham as Lee Christmas, Dolph Lundgren as Gunnar Jansen, and Randy Kocher as Tall Road. Apart from them, the newcomer Curtis Jackson, aka 50 Cent, Mag Megan Fox, Andy Garcia, as well as Tony Ya have been announced. Just in time for the start of shooting, three more rather unknown actors have joined the cast, namely Jacob Scipio, Sheila Shah, and Levi Tran. Director Scott Walk, who already directed the Need for Speed movie, will be in charge of the film. We're curious to see whether the filming runs smoothly and are looking forward to The Expendables 4. Unfortunately, a release date is not known yet. If you also want to be brought up to date regarding the upcoming Game of Thrones spin-off House of the Dragon, you can check out the first teaser trailer that was published on our channel this week. It is an absolute must-see, not only for Game of Thrones fans. See you next time!